what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of um not launching and not starting issue in bmng.drive so stick to the end guys it will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work here on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. The next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click into processes and simply click one of those random processes. Once you click them, I want you to type in B in order to find bmng.drive. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to enter the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam shortcut or your bmg.drive shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to open up your Windows search function. Just type it in, search it, and once you found it, simply drag it back on your desktop. So take your shortcut, right click it, and navigate to the very bottom where it says properties. Once this tab pops up, click on to compatibility and copy my settings. So enable run this program in compatibility mode for you. select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. Once you're finished, you should be able to restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to double click it and simply start your game and launch your game over the launcher. This should fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one, and bye.